Coming up on this week's news, Amendment 3 to the Wiring Regs is unveiled this week and will come into force immediately. Insurance giant Aviva sets out its minimum installation standard for solar panels and the case of the rogue electrician who stole electricity from his neighbours. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly in association with Solar Trade Sales, your easy one-stop shop for all things solar. Whether you're listening in the van, on-site or down at the wholesale counter, I'm Joe Robinson and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. Amendment 3 to the wiring regs is coming into force this week. The revision to BS7671 aims to clear up confusion over the use of unidirectional and bidirectional RCDs for power sources such as solar panels and home batteries. The amendment has been fast-tracked by the IET and the British Standards Institute after the alarm was raised earlier this year that RCDs and MCBs are being incorrectly connected to microgenerator installations. Specifically, it aims to rule out the connection of power sources such as batteries and solar installations to the load or out terminals of unidirectional devices. That's because when it trips, it permanently energises the integrated circuit and the solenoid, which can then burn out. This effectively turns the RCD into an MCB. The problem is overcome by using a bidirectional RCD. This disconnects the integrated circuit and solenoid in a trip situation. The amendment will set out the two definitions, one for a unidirectional protective device and one for a bidirectional one. It's expected to state that the installer needs to take account of the source of connections and use an appropriate device. The rule comes into force immediately, meaning it will affect contractors working on these type of installations and also those carrying out periodic inspections and EICRs. The full document will be free to download on the IET's website from Wednesday the 31st of July. The professional section of the Electrical Safety First website also has useful guidance on this. I've popped the links into the show notes. Installation guidance is also being offered this week by Aviva, which I always think sounds like the name of an 80s pop song, all shoulder pads and synthesizers. Anyway, the insurance giant has set out its minimum installation standards for solar panels. The company is one of a number of firms who have become increasingly concerned about the fire risk with PV projects. It says installers should be a member of the MCS or an equivalent body, and must always issue a certificate of conformity. The IET's code of practice should also be followed. Aviva sets out very specific requirements for two-sided or bifurcated facial solar panels. The company is also recommending that annual thermographic inspections are undertaken. I've put the link to the PDF of the guidance in the show notes. Thanks to Sergio Fernandez for the heads up on this development. We hope that it's nice and sunny on the Costa del Watford as always. In other news, a rogue electrician has been told to repay £4,000 to his neighbours after stealing their electricity. Leslie Pirry from Tayport in Fife used a Henley block connector hidden behind a picture frame to take power from his neighbour's supply. The setup diverted power to his house and meant that his neighbours paid hefty bills. Investigators called in by a family to look at their unusually high charges immediately discovered that they were paying for their own supply and for downstairs neighbour Piri. Dundee Sheriff Court heard that the couple's payments were so high they had to get their teenage daughter to work to help out. Solicitor John Boyle defending said that the defendant and the victim still remain neighbours, but obviously they're not on particularly good terms. Piri, 51, admitted stealing electricity between July 2017 and August 2020. He was given more than eight years to repay his neighbours at £40 per month. And thanks to my very own Mrs R for sending us that story in. The family of a former electrician who died from asbestos exposure has secured compensation of £80,000 from his former employer. Albert Edward Batty suffered from mesothelioma, an aggressive cancer linked to occupational asbestos. It's believed his contact with the dangerous substance happened during his time at North Tees Sea Power Station. The investigation led to an admission of liability from Watson Norrie Limited, who could have done more to protect him from asbestos exposure. Mr Batty's son Kevin said that the settlement honours his father's memory and raises awareness about the risks of asbestos exposure. He says he hopes that by speaking out he can let others know that there is help out there. And just as we mentioned in a recent news article, do make sure that you check out our CPD on health and safety, which includes a video on asbestos and how to remain safe around it. In product news this month, the big story is the launch of the Stevie EV Charger. It features a patent-registered, recess-designed, saving space and providing a sleek finish for the customer. It provides an alternative to the standard method of surface mounting charge points. The units are integrated directly into property walls using a cage design. Stevie also offers customers a surface-mounted version as well as a choice of socketed or tethered configurations and display or non-display units. There's a range of customizable colour choices for cable holders and fascias. 
Lawrence. Stevie Chargers has partnered with tech firm Monta to provide an intuitive interface for easy operation and monitoring of charging status. Stevie says it's looking for installers to join the Stevie Preferred Partner Program. As a member, you'll get training, end-user referrals, a web listing, an extended four-year warranty, and full Preferred Partner support. I've put a link to the Preferred Partner Program in the show notes so you can see all the benefits. We've also asked for a sample of the new Stevie, so stay tuned for an eFix bench test video in the coming weeks. Another installer program launched this week comes from Ring. The home security giant says the summer holiday season is when demand for smart security devices such as cameras and home alarms is high. But while a lot of customers are familiar with their smart home devices, they feel more comfortable having a professional in to handle the setup of their system. They say that's why they're launching the Ring Professional program. Electricians who join will receive a 40% discount code which can be used on the Ring website as a welcome gift. They'll get unrestricted access to product training videos and materials available through the Ring Professional portal. Portal. Additionally, they'll get exclusive access to the Ring Professional segment on Amazon Business. This gives you an increased discount of 16% off all Ring and Blink devices. This is in addition to 5% off everyday items for your business as standard. There's a reward program where you earn points through installing Ring products or by completing training. You can spend your points at places like Greg's and Costa Coffee, or get discounted rates on platforms such as Facebook Advertising, Amazon.com, and Screwfix. I've put the link to more details on that in the show notes. Ansel Lighting has unveiled a range of outdoor connectors specially designed to speed up lighting installations. The AFIX series consists of a straight connector in both regular and IP ratings, an IP T-junction, and an IP junction box. There's a choice of three and four pole models with push fit connections and a two part click and connect design for toolless installation. And before we go, a reminder that there's a few days left to get your entries into the eFix Awards. Categories include EV Installer of the Year, Smart Home Installer of the Year, Renewables Installer of the Year, and Wholesaler of the Year. So make 2024 the year you get the recognition you deserve. Time really is running out now though as entries close on the 31st of July so don't flit around like a clumsy curlew and get your entry in. The only way to guarantee you won't win is not to enter. You can check out the full list of categories on the website which I've popped in the show notes. Lastly, a reminder that we're in the market for your stories, your projects, and your recommendations, as we'd like to share them with the wider eFix community. In August, we're shifting our focus to residential lighting, smart homes, and heating. Send us pictures of your installs, or let us know if you've come across any new kit that's making your job easier. Now, just before we get to your favourite bit of the show, where I reveal last week's challenge words and winners, we want to thank our premium partners. We couldn't make the news without you. First up, it's the people who've created the Swiss Army knife of solar inverters, along with all weather batteries, very much the boys scouts of the solar industry, it's Sunsync. Next, they're the brand that pride themselves on keeping people close to what's important with the world's most recognisable doorbell chime, it's Ring. And do you want a no-fuss lighting solution that's packed with value? Then try the Ecolink range from Signify, combining value for money with top-end Signify quality. Now a business that will literally bend over backwards to give you first-class service on the trade-only supply of signal reception and distribution, custom install, home automation and security products for all residential and commercial projects, it's all trade. If you want to pump up the jam and join the home heating revolution, then it's got to be heat pumps from Dakin. The best thing to come out of Yorkshire since stainless steel, the home of EV Ultra and other groundbreaking and quality products, it's Doncaster Cables. With an incredible range of equipment from EV charge points through industrial sockets and switches to kit for explosive areas, plus they supplied gear for a Campari factory, so they'll always have a place in my heart. It's Scarmy. Big thanks to you all. We really appreciate your ongoing support for the news. If you think you know the words that I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments. We'll take all the correct guesses and select one at random to be the winner of an eFix goodie bag prize. Answers submitted after about lunchtime on the Thursday after release will not be entered into the draw. Now let's reveal the winners of last week's challenge word competition. The words were earwig and Botox, and you'll scarcely believe this, but the person drawn at random from the pool of correct answers is serial correct guesser and almost equally serial winner, Mark, just Mark. You've won so many times, Mark. I have literally no idea what I'm going to send you as a prize this time. I'm about to strip this set down to start shooting my next CPD package, so you might end up with some random lengths of tray, armoured and trunking popping through your letterbox. Joking apart, well done to you, Mark. It just shows that being a committed viewer and commenter has its rewards. Make sure you click the link in the show notes to claim your prize. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly in association with Solar Trade Sales, your easy one stop shop for all things solar. Make sure you subscribe to receive the next update. Thanks for listening, and until next time, have a great week. Stay safe out there, and remember there's no such thing as a talk calibrated arm. <laughs>